Hello and welcome to the first of our series of panel discussions talking about the multitude of Christian movies that are going to be coming out over the next month. I'm David from the YouTube channel Catholic Contrast. I'm joined by Renee from Reborn Pure. Hey guys. Ned from Parables of the Film Industry. And Joseph, the Catholic apologist. So this week we are discussing the young Messiah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Wait, have they seen it already? How come the old, I'm the only one that's never seen these things that you're showing us now? Uh, so, so what do you guys know about it so far, right off the bat? Oh, okay, so so I've already seen the trailer. And, Obviously. Uh, duh. Okay. <laughs> and and, and um, from what I've gathered, actually, no, it's not even from what I've gathered. It, 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 the story is basically about um, young child Jesus and him growing up and oh, somewhere down the line, he's just like, I'm a child. And then I'm like, oh, I'm supposed to be the Messiah, I guess. I I saw half of it on a on an advertisement for YouTube. Wow, you made it long- cringe. Wow, I made it longer than you did. <laughs> wow. All right, so let's watch the trailer for the first time. For the second time. The, the following time. previews were approved for appropriate audiences. Uh oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Inappropriate. Well, because I'm only going to tell the story once. She's gonna tell it once. I guess I'm watching it twice. One morning, my room filled with light. And he spoke to me. He said, from my room, what comes up? You came to Jesus. Wait, oh, that long hair thrust me <laughs> <laughs> was the sun. Oh, baby Jesus! 14 when you were born. And Carol Rini. She could have been 15. Mm-hmm. The sun, the she got married at the very beginning. So, if I'm not strong enough, you must trust God every day. Okay. Yeah. Being made in human likeness. What do we tell our little boy? How do we explain God to his own son? <gasps> because he is God! He understands what he is! He's discussion about being the king until, of the world. Until your father in heaven shows you the time to use it. So the father- there are rumors of a boy born in Bethlehem. Is Sean B- Why is Sean, he in this? Is Sean B- Why? Is what? Oh no! Sean, I missed Wait. that. He's gonna die. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh wow, that's uh, dark. Oh. He's a family from Nazareth with a boy named Jesus. Oh. He doesn't have a beard. Is it really horrible that I want to see it now just because Sean Bean's in it? <laughs> yes. Spiritual thing. No, it's I not my actual music. 3D. <laughs> <laughs> is that a kid? Wait, no, is that, uh, the, oh, I know that what's his name? Oh. No, from the temple? Is that, uh, yeah, it's a kid. No, no, no. Zachariah? No, no, no. It's guy from the temple. He's in the temple. Oh. Who is it? Who are you? It's going to be an epic showdown Simeon. between yeah. Jesus and a Roman sh- soldier. He is not just a child. He's the young messiah. He's the king of the whole universe. <laughs> oh. March 2016. Oh, that's this month, guys. Yeah. Who wants to go? Only cost you two 20 bucks. <laughs> One, two, three, not it? Plus no. all the popcorn Ned's going to have to eat. Uh, well, I know, yeah. seriously. Uh, just that'll be all about the popcorn. $60. Yeah, basically. <laughs> For one large. Uh, I'm sorry, I like popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Just... Oh, uh, poor look, Joe. Look, look, Joe. It's okay. It's okay. It's not okay. <laughs> it's okay. Look, 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 embrace me. Embrace yeah, me. Yeah, heresy. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it, he'd take being the king of the world very hard. It's okay. No, okay, this well, is new news to you. Well, here's the interesting thing. Who would you imagine, where do you think this story comes from? I, I have no idea. I mean, I mean because obviously not from the Bible. Oh, yeah. I mean, because uh, the first thing I thought is like, you usually never hear about the child Jesus. The only story that's canon is when he's 12, he's in the temple. There's the famous Gospel of Thomas, which yeah. is all about Jesus's childhood, but it's Getting sort of weird. Lost. It portrays him as a superhero who has to reign in his powers. He accidentally <laughs> kills people as a kid. Yeah. Like, what? Like, it reminded yeah. me, you said, like, you can't use your powers yet. Now, like, what? Well, there's a movie that's like uh, that, too. What's that movie? When uh, it's like, you can't use it. Is it Harry Potter? Uh, it's is called it? Spider-Man with great power. <laughs> comes, comes no, great it's responsibility. <laughs> no, please don't make that comparison. I love <laughs> the weird thing was is that one of the famous God- Force, stories. Maybe? Is it oh, maybe, yeah. Sorry, um, can't. And like one of the stories in the Gospel of Thomas is Jesus is making clay sparrows on a Saturday, and the Pharisees come up to him and are like, "You're not supposed to make sparrows on a Saturday." And but then he holds it up, and it's an actual sparrow, and it flies out. He's like, "See, it wasn't a sparrow." So when I saw that scene in the trailer where he's at a beach and he has a sparrow in his hand, I'm like, 
is this the Gospel of Thomas? <laughs> oh. Uh, no, but apparently it, it's not. Oh. It is based off of a novel that was written by, I think, a lapsed Catholic who became oh. Catholic again in 2005 and then wrote two novels about Jesus as a kid. And they're now adapting the first one into a film. But, but, so it's actually written by a Catholic. What? what? Really? What? Yeah. Oh, dear God. This is this is why this huh. is why who was it Pope Pius V I believe said lukewarm Catholics will be called the cause of all evils in the world. <laughs> <laughs> so Joe, what makes talking about or making a story like this so heretical? The heretical part is that they do not understand who Jesus is. Jesus is not created by the father jesus humanity is created or he creates it himself through the trinity or however you want to theologically phrase it but jesus christ is god was before he became man they're making this seem like he becomes man is and is either completely ignorant of what he's supposed to do and just kind of finds out oh i have these powers like i'm a superhero no Mm. the saints are our versions of superheroes those are our catholic versions of superheroes in a different way obviously because they don't have (laughs) powers either but they don't look down at the female realize oh i'm levitating (laughs) (laughs) it's very different it's very different than powers it's a matter of who he naturally is the things he can do are because you know, yes. he, he can naturally do them. Yeah, he is the fully he God has. and fully right. man. Yeah. If he was fully man and able to do them, that was what we would define as powers. Right. He's fully God. This is natural. For so him. he just has this connection to nature that he, like uh, maybe Adam and Eve would have had, like in the Garden of Eden before yeah. the fall of man, mm-hmm. they had this connection with nature that was perfect. Mm-hmm. You know, and like mm-hmm. Jesus Christ still had that. So like I saw that reflected in the movie, mm-hmm. which was cool. Right. The only thing is Adam and Eve were never God. No, therefore yeah, of it wouldn't not. be. You know, yeah, but he's like so. showing like <clears throat> kind of like what. And they should have done a movie on Adam and Eve. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! I, I actually, no, no I, I can see that going bad. <laughs> yeah, that could really go bad, bad too. Genesis, the movie. Oh no! Oh, no. No, please. no! Please don't give them any I ideas. I think actually Kent Hovind or Eric Hovind tried to do that with Answers in Genesis, but it was from a. They, it was Genesis 3D. Oh, I, yeah, you, you I heard, heard about, about yeah, I heard about that. Um, uh, uh, my my mom, she she um, uh, loves everything like you with like answers in Genesis and all that oh. kind of stuff. And then uh, so she she like follows all of that. And I'm and I heard about that. I'm just like interesting, interesting. Okay, my mouth will be shut now. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I can say, like like from a film, like from a film critic standpoint mm-hmm. I can see that this movie it could be very interesting yeah, like, yeah. Like, I like seeing the young life of uh, the young life of Jesus and everything uh-huh. but um, also being a Christian especially that uh-huh. you know especially a Catholic but you said here it, it can be extre- it could be very very heretical very heretical and granted I'd probably see it the same way I'd probably see like um, uh, whether it like uh, Noah and all that and just be like okay maybe it's an okay well made movie but uh, I mean hey has Sean Bean it has to have some quality I know right? right and then Noah had Russell Crowe and all those other A-list that's actors. true yeah. so like the movie itself could be good but the interpretation and the, lots of heresy involved with it at least what if they have Jesus accidentally kill Sean Bean <laughs> oh, oh, <no>. God. <laughs> and, then, and then raise him from who's the heretical now no, <laughs> no. Okay. no I'm suggesting what they might do. I'm not saying oh, it's yeah. right. Movie instantly becomes ten <laughs> times better. No. <laughs> Kill Sean Bean, bring him back from the dead. Oh, man. Uh, Sean Bean can't stay dead in a Christian film. <laughs> All right, so has this movie intrigued you? Do you think you'll go see it or watch it someday? Uh, if I could watch it for free, I, I, I would be up for it. Me I would too. actually be willing to watch this for free. Yes, I'd watch it. And then and if it's ter- terrible, bash it in a YouTube review. <laughs> 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 I don't know if my heart could take it. All right, Joe, you can stay in your, <laughs> stay in your dorm. We're, we're all going to go. We'll see you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just go with friends. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I want to do what Ned would do and just go. And then when it turns out bad, like it seems like it's going to be as far as theology. Then again, if you're stressed out about the preview this much, sitting through the yeah. whole movie might be a little strenuous on poor that's, Joe. That's, yeah. why I'm, that's why I'm saying my heart might not be able to take it. Just like, I, I could see you having the same react, like, if I could see you, like, if you went to go see this movie in theaters, I could see you having the same reaction watching this video if you went to go to theaters to watch Deadpool. 
<laughs> I've only heard rumors about that. I don't think I dare watch anything that the guy actually lets come out of his mouth. I, 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 I uh, uh, guilty confession. I actually went to go see Deadpool. <laughs> I've seen Deadpool too. Yeah, Joe would not see. Wait, you've seen it? What? You've seen Deadpool? <laughs> oh, help me! Yeah, and I had to like. Jump into a pool afterwards. <laughs> Wait, why did you go weird. see it? Because a bunch of my, like, because peer pressure. Okay. They're all like a cool <laughs> superhero movie. I'm like, okay, guys, this would be really funny. I was dumb, didn't watch the preview before, I just went with them. Wait, did you know anything about it before going in? Really? Oh no! That's why. Oh, okay, that is like, why. It is basically okay. yeah. It's anybody else who had to suffer through Deadpool? I'm sorry. I don't know a lot about Deadpool. I, I can't say I, I suffered just, through it. No. But okay. Okay, that's true. Like you're trying. You're just, with your friends. You don't want to be like a complete mope through. The thing. There were funny parts in Deadpool, but other yeah. most of the time I was just like, I can't laugh at that. I'm All sorry. Right. <laughs> I no, it's basically it. it's a superhero movie. That's rated R, so they're allowed to make tons of dirty jokes. There are a lot of Just sexual like stuff, nudity. And they, yeah. else. I will stick with it my Spider Man and my <laughs> Captain America. Yeah, yeah, stick with them. Stick with them. <laughs> oh, there's the other meme I saw where it's. I said never like, recommend that. There's two anyway. types of preachers kids, and then it has a picture of. Yes, I saw that. And I did. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, wait. There, there, there was another meme where it's like Deadpool is like, "Are you okay, Cap?" And then Captain America is going, "So much language. <laughs> <laughs> so much language." <laughs> Uh, uh. Uh, it was. It just like reeks of just everything your mother would absolutely hate. <laughs> oh gosh, my, my, I would not recommend uh. it to anybody I love. Only those I really hate. Wow. No, don't see the movie. You will. It takes time to like recover after seeing that movie. Okay. So, All right. So I guess to rejoin it. it uh, Regarding me and this film, this is something I've always been sort of fascinated with, the concept of what if Je what was Jesus like as a kid? And I've always thought about, like, how much more relatable for, like, children's stories if yeah. there were stories in the Bible of Jesus as a kid? Because that way children could relate to him. I always thought that would be really cool. It would be wonderful if there was a movie about the childhood of Jesus because we do – we really don't know about it. It would be, mm -hmm. it would be mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. But you don't incorporate heresy into it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I – Heretic. What if my child came up to me with a clump of mud and was like, it's not turning into a bird, Mom! What do you say, what do you say to that? <laughs> He'd be like, you're not the Messiah, Joe. <laughs> no! <laughs> and then he'd like... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, well, that's awful. Like, just go well, play. Right, hey, because the way they portray it is Jesus has to find out he's Jesus, so any kid could think yeah, he's Jesus just second like coming, be... and he just doesn't know yet. <laughs> oh, dear God. God, no. Just like Superman movies. Like, I'm different I think I'm going to go away now. I think I'm going away. Uh, right. I think that's it for this week. Thanks All for watching. Right. Bye. <laughs> uh, we'll get you back. Come back. <laughs> Don't see Deadpool. <laughs> <laughs>